Ah, uh, George Santos. Yes, the lies keep coming, but is he really something exceptional for the Republican Party? Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm going to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So the George Santos story just keeps getting more and more ridiculous all the time. We already knew about his lies about his resume, about how he didn't graduate from the college he claimed he went to, he didn't play volleyball there, he didn't have a scholarship. In fact, he didn't graduate from college at all. He didn't work at the companies he claimed he worked at. And where he did work, it turned out that he was engaged in a pyramid scheme. And as it turns out, that he's been connected to a Russian oligarch close to Putin. What's more is he's now facing fraud charges from Brazil, because as I pointed out in another video, him lying is not something new. But it continues to get even more ridiculous. He apparently set up a GoFundMe for a veteran whose dog was dying and then stole the money from that. And now we're seeing increasing evidence that he actually performed in Brazil as a drag queen? And the latest, and this is definitely my wife's favorite, he's claiming he acted on Hannah Montana and the sweet life of Zack and Cody. In fact, it turns out we don't even know his name, where he's got a bunch of aliases out there. I mean, this is one of those stories where if you'd concocted a novel based upon them, people wouldn't believe you. They'd think it was way too far-fetched. But yet, it appears to be true. We don't even know the full extent of how much he's lied. Perhaps most relevant to his current position, though, where he seemed to represent to his suburban Long Island constituency that he was actually a moderate, he's now going hard right, standing with Marjorie Taylor Greene displaying a white supremacist symbol. You might think that this would be enough for Republicans to turn their backs on him, but no! Not only do they not turn their backs on him, but they appoint him to two important House committees, including the Science, Space, and Technology Committee, where my boss served when I actually worked in Congress. So why are Democrats so obsessed with this story, you might ask? I mean, certainly you're not seeing much of it on Fox News. They're too busy reporting about the classified documents that President Biden had in his possession. That's a story for another video, but they're so obsessed with that, they don't have time to talk about George Santos and all his lies. Could it be that they really don't care? I mean, I remember saying the same thing about Donald Trump, that if you'd made up a story based upon his life, people wouldn't believe you. But yet it's all true. And for him, he certainly had a tenuous relationship with the truth. After all, we have 30,573 lies that are recorded that he said over four years in office with some of the most notable, including, of course, the crowds that he had at his inauguration and the weather that he had there, as well as the much more insidious lies, such as his drawing with a Sharpie on a weather forecast map, or claiming that the election was stolen from him when he lost by a lot. But again, Republicans don't care. If you're willing to appeal to their racism and their anger at the world that they're not being still held on the pedestal for the unwarranted privilege they get as a result of the color of their skin and their possession of a penis, then you can say or do pretty much whatever you want. In fact, in some respects, the more outrageous, the better. Because that's just one more way of sticking your finger in the eye of those libs and owning them. Now, George Santos will probably not be reelected, is my guess, but that has a lot to do with the fact that he represents, again, a suburban New York district, one which he did not win by any stretch of the imagination by a landslide, and which could easily be won again by a Democrat. And don't mistake all these claims by the Republicans on Long Island that they disavow him as anything genuine. They're just hoping he gets kicked out so that they can take his place. No, the truth of the matter is the Republican Party is perfectly comfortable with liars and con men because as long as they feed their unjustified anger, they'll accept somebody no matter what they do. Well, if you want to see another video where I talk about whether George Santos can be prosecuted for his lies, check out this over here. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.